This better freaking work. <laughs> this stands more chance of working now. Are we live? Well, I mean, we may be seeing some activity soon. Yes, yes, there is a possibility. Hey. Welcome back, one and all. Sorry for the absence. This router is as shit as I think it is. I wish to dispose of it and get something better, but uh, you know, at the moment we don't have another solution, so it's going to have to stay. All right, let's see if we can do it this time. Or if whatever arbitrary constant maximum number of peers or whatever, whatever, whatever is causing the packets to be lost goes away. I think it does have a modem mode that uh, just makes it act like a fiber cable, but I don't trust it to be... Uh, I don't even trust it to be good at that. I mean, at the end of the day, we don't have any choice, because um, yeah. you've got to have something to convert the fiber to yeah. and it's it. virgin standard, so... It needs to be virgin's box, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're stuffed. I'm stuffed. But yes, you could at least replace the uh... actual traffic routing bit. Yeah. We would prove, well, yeah, because then the router just ignored that. It's just a pass through, yeah. yeah. It would just be a pass through if you did that. Yeah. What are the odds that that would fix the problem or no? And if it didn't fix the problem, you still wouldn't necessarily know if that was the answer. You still could be doing something. We should I wouldn't be. trust it. Well. <laughs> would you trust that thing with your life? I certainly would not. In the middle of trying to save you, we go, oh no, I've got to update battery stop. When calling for help, it's like, nope, nope, too many beers. Better, better, better send them all away. Would you trust it with your life? No, no, you would not. Greetings, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back Hello. to Bean Rants. Bean Rants Limited. Sorry for being a body ass. We'll get the. We'll, we'll, well, we'll share up and for those who don't happen to be from Lincolnshire in the UK, Mardi Ass means somebody's being grumpy. Yes, that's true. Mardi is uh, in a local town. It is. Mm. I'm exposing me country dialect. You are. Boomer, please. please. <sighs> Greetings, one and all. Boomer, please. Why is your internet so awful? Worse than mine. <laughs> and that's saying something, apparently. Thirteen. Fourteen. Sheffield, would you know the definition of Mardi? Ow, four hundred? Holes probably should. Where is Lincolnshire? It's a huge county in England with nothing in it. Nobody knows where it is, despite it taking up quite a large quantity of land mass. I mean, on American scales, tiny, but yes. you know, on, on, on England scales, it's the second largest county. Yeah. But nobody knows and it's empty. Nobody knows it's all it's fields. Right. And Bean and Jadders. <laughs> Wait, are your brothers? Yes, absolutely we are. That makes sense. Ever since birth. Well, ever since my birth, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, well, we're at 15, and uh, the reason that uh, we appear to be st stuck at 15 is because no one else appears to be joining. <laughs> Come on, everyone! Me being a Mardi Ass, yes. Absolutely. You wouldn't have it any other way. And that's it! No one else to join. Hey! Well, this was fun. Come on, guys, I know you were here before. You must still be here, right? Surely. I mean, yeah. We definitely have some new faces in here, so what happens to the old faces? Do they all run away? And they're like, ugh, 
If it was a bean. Chad, when did Mardi you start Gars. saying greetings and why? Well, I started saying greetings at some point during Mr. Bean's streaming career. And the reason why was because I saw many a chat in which people arrived and said hello. And nobody said hello back and Strimmer didn't notice them. And I've been that person as well. And you just sort of think, oh, right, yes, yes, I'm forever alone. So I was like, no, no, on Mr. Bean streams, no, 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 no. I will make sure that when I see a chatter pop into chat, I'll make sure they know I'm there. They, I know they're, they're there. They know that I know that they're there. Yeah. I'll make a big deal out of it. I'll let them know that they are welcome. That they do belong. And so he yells until he gets And so I yell. Madly. It became a thing. Alright, well, people aren't trying to... If the person on your screen right now is Chaddis, Mr. Bean is off seen refreshing, hammering F5 to check for players joining the room. Mr. Bean is a disembodied voice. Chaddis is playing. This is Mr. Bean. Ah! Yes, that's Mr. Bean. There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. There goes my hero. He's ordinary. Very. One might say, incredibly. This is open. Although we are having tech issues, so I'm not necessarily sure everyone will be able to join, but uh, please feel free to try and find out. Behind a bit Treadmill Gamer! Uh, who says, uh, My father and I thank you so much. You have provided countless hours of joy and bonding time. Well, thank you. Wow, awesome. Thank yes. you. Love to well, hear it. have you been enjoying it all? We love to hear it. Yes. I've got the custom tracks enabled. Man, what happened to the NT2004? No, the text to speech is not working. <laughs> Text to speech being text to speech. You know how it is. We start in the room to so didn't pick the light up, but that I'm not too surprised about. <laughs> That's probably a problem stream that side, if I had to guess. I can't see how that could be my fault. I appreciate the settings is all turned on and she's sporadically talking. It's like something must be up. Uh... Alright, here comes someone. Okay, 17th. The next connection will be the interesting one. Thank you, the host leaky. The current rate of players, I don't know if we'll <laughs> even make it to 24 anyway. Come on, guys. Come join. It's been ages since we last did it. Oh boy, this is a uh, top tier. Am I warming up to the classic controller? I guess so, yeah, yeah. I, I find the stick placement weird because I guess I'm used to a GameCube controller, so. You kind of want the primary stick in a more convenient location. Yeah, this is very strange, but I mean, yes. I the PlayStation controllers, though, they've been doing it for years. Anyway, if you were hoping that this would fix the problem, it did not. We are just as. <laughs> We have just as many connections issues as we had before. Yeah. Why? Well, I guess that probably suggests it's not a router issue. Why would that not be a router issue? It could be What could it possibly be if not that? Thank you for 100 bits, Treadmill Gamer. Oh, there we go. It went through eventually. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I'm a bit... Uh, I'm a bit other wow. things. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! With being hated. Thank Thanks you. for the, uh, for gifting a tier 1 sub to Luigi Brian Dragonfire. Yeah, we reached 18. 
Thank you for another 100 bits, General Gamer. Chad, are you missing our sword knots over there? Absolutely, yes. I would love to have sword knots here. Um, the sword will stop me from becoming turning into a grouch. Chad has lost his, his spark. I think he's tired. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm really tired too. I was not on the crazy schedule for this at all. It's unfortunate, but yeah. But yes, for those who don't know, we, we, we've streamed every year on the anniversary of the uh, shutdown of Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. And in the past, pre pre COVID, obviously, they've um, we've always had guest appearances from Sword of Seals, which has been joyous. But uh, alas, with the current state of affairs, that would not be possible. Well, actually, probably at the moment in the UK, it would be possible, hypothetically, as of Monday. Oh, wow. oh yeah! Oh, yeah! Thank you! Thank you! I don't see any 19 players trying to join right now. It's just 18 of us sat here, chilling. I mean, I don't know how uh, it, it fares in every country, but one of the things that's interesting about the UK's approach to the vaccination programme is it's in strict age order. So, essentially, they're working from the oldest to the youngest, in yeah. order. Um, and so I think they're down to about 40 year olds now that are getting vaccinated. Yep. Which is not my age category, so I'm, st I'm sat here. Yes. That's what's all. Mm -hmm. For he is not 40 either. No, he's not. Not by a long shot. Oi, I thank you for the bit, it's cool guy. I mean, I'm literally trying to stream a 24 player room right now. <laughs> it's not going so well, but uh, I'm trying. Do you not see the 18 players? If you don't, then I'm got a stream issue. <laughs> but now, there they are. Over 100 bits. Uh, triple gear. Also, is there any work uh, being yes. done before play, a local playing? It's still not working, I think. I believe that the problem with 4-player was identified to using a me in, in the offline multiplayer crashes the game. And uh, that, I have no idea why that would be, but uh, if you're having trouble with it, try not using me characters. Hmm. If that still doesn't work, then we'll uh, get back to it. No, this is no better. Ugh. But I mean, how can it not be the router? Like. We, it's possible that Wi-Fi is not delivering these, uh, but... Oh, it worked. It just took forever. It's just... It's, it's all on a massive delay, you know. I, mean, I guess that could be Wi-Fi, but it just doesn't seem like the kind of thing... You know, that would be. Alright, connection number 20 is being attempted. All my precious VR points. Ah, I'm sorry, man. It's okay, I'm losing them myself. Greetings, <laughs> real supernova one four one two. Going good, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. It is working now. It's just really, really, really slow. So maybe we start to lose on something. Twenty-first player is trying to join now. Hmm. Just thought, actually. Wow! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Job, Nixon. Thank you. So the the twenty four player there's uh, oh scam train awesome um, the um, yeah the twenty four player uh, developers is paused while he works on KO mode um, but um, I mean fundamentally yes there are a number of uh, improvements that are necessary for twenty four player um, uh, I mean notably the offline is quite buggy. Um, and obviously the um, Lag online is something we'd like to address, um, you know, in terms of frame lag. Um. Yep. All right. Well. Okay. I'll, I'll 
I'll try starting this room of 20, and I'll just wait for this connection, this 21st connection to either succeed or fail. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, go, go. <laughs> Someone else is trying to join. Get ready, everyone who's in the room! So this delay means that my Wii is absolutely no absolutely knows that someone is trying to join. Wii Pie has successfully relayed to me that someone is trying to join this room. I've probably said yes. There we go. Oh, well, not Mario time. That's Chances roll. Works too. Alright, here we go. Let's do some 20 player. And maybe we can squish some people in afterwards. So James, we definitely could have had more people than this if we were playing it all, but it's got it. It's got to be the route. I mean, what else would it be? Maybe some other device or place that might be dropping it. We play successfully delivers the message that someone is trying to join. I presume it was stay okay, and then Natneg is supposed to start. But Natneg either takes forever or doesn't work. If that's not our router, what else would it be? Chatters? Chatters. <sighs> Anyways, let's have some fun. If we can. <laughs> Hopefully everyone's here. <laughs> Alright, ready everyone? Sorry for the delays. Oh, for fuck's sake, I heard that! So we already don't have 20 people. I don't know who do you see, but... No, there shouldn't be any performance overheads from, from the widescreen. Yeah, I'd they could play. Is it? Okay, yeah. It's a stretch damage. Okay, fine. Same way DVDs do it. Alright, sure. Yeah, maybe. Same for interlace versus progressive, that's probably hardware. Shadows, do you play MK with any of the time on May 20th? I mean, I take, play quite a lot uh, with offline uh, friend, with friends at university. Um, but not online, no. Yeah, my front run has been killed. Oh, this is pretty good. Am I better than my university friends? Yes, because they don't play at all. Oof. Other than when they play with me. Whereas I do year, at least have years of experience. Yeah. And in theory know how Mario Kart Wii should be played, even if I can't actually do it. Oh, end up over there. Oh. Back in the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection days, I think I got up to about 7,000 VR, didn't I? I can't oh, remember right, exactly, yeah. but... So I did play a fair bit, you know, I mean, I know that's not, nothing special, but... <laughs> he was play, play, yeah. I played sufficiently, you know. Oh, that's fortunate that he got hit by that shot. No, not fortunate for him, of course, but, uh, fortunate for the rest of us. Yeah, we briefly had to dip the stream to fix the router issue, but other than that, we've been live since we got the yeah, we haven't really fixed any router issues, yeah. I mean, we did manage to get 20 players into our room, which is pretty nice, but normally we'd have no problem getting 24 players in.
actually kind of, would have quite liked that. Just make it last. Where are we going? Oh, I could have had it. Uh, yeah, in 24 player happen? boxes we do, do respawn faster, that's yeah. true. Otherwise well, there wouldn't be enough. <laughs> It's as, it, it's as I've always said, Chad is his god, and Bean is his messenger. So it's appropriate that I look like Jesus. I'm also constantly crucified online. <laughs> That's Chad is chill on his cloud. <laughs> Away from the nonsense. <laughs> Alrighty. How many survivors? 19, so it was just one person who DC'd. Freeway. Hey, I got VR points. Well then. How's the search project going, Chavis? Yes, uh, fine, thanks. So we've um, the the interesting news from me is we've been putting in for a um, uh, a grant proposal. So we, we we've we've applied to get some um, funding money from the UK Research Council um, to. Um, look at the ideas that I looked at during my PhD further for the next sort of three years. So if we get approved for that funding, basically, I'll spend the next three years uh, employed as a researcher at the university um, looking at, um, like I say, looking at some of the ideas from my PhD. So what we've ended up looking at, or what I've ended up looking at, is not um, so much the um, processor itself, but we've ended up looking at programming because one of the things that, you know, has become abundantly clear is having made this interesting processor, Programming it is really the hard. Fuck. And um, that was exciting. What? What is this respawn? More generally, we observe that the reason why programming is hard is because current programming techniques don't really cover well the case where you want to do um, parallel programs with um, heterogeneity. So where you want to do parallel programs where each part of the program is doing a That's different right. thing. Um, so you know, like multi-threading where every thread is doing something different. It's, it's very hard to program generally. Um, and so I had some ideas about that during my PhD um, that I tried out and I think worked quite well. Um, and so um, we're looking at that at the moment basically. And like I say, if we get this from, if we get this grant, we'll, we'll basically continue researching that for the next three years. Um, see what we can come up with. Um, it should be interesting. Pretty exciting if we get it, because that means that basically my idea is turning into a research project in and of itself, which is pretty cool. Um, but we haven't got it yet, so we'll have to see. But... finished my PhD quite yet, I will say. It's due in August. So, still writing. Jesus Christ. This is intense. I was particularly exciting. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Yoshida, for gifting a sub. Also, hello. Greetings, yo sugar! Thank you for the gifts, sir. Hi. Ah. 
Uh, but what's particularly exciting about the Grant is we've, we've got some uh, partners on board no, 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 no. Oh! who are interested in it. And in particular, we've got the... Um, well, I'm screwed. Absolutely don't. UK Fusion Reactor Project. So the UK is trying to build a nuclear fusion reactor. Um, and um, those people have some very interesting physics problems they need to solve, but they can't really program them very well. Um, I'll take 17. That was... Because it turns out programming watch. supercomputers is hard. So... Um, they're going to be partnering with us on this one uh, mm -hmm. to so that so we'll look at we'll look at problems to do with uh, simulating a fusion reactor basically for for my ideas of programming to see if we can make it fast and so on. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, hey, it's good to see you again, Yoshila. It's been a, it's been a while. It certainly has. Do you remember Yoshila from back in the day? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That didn't sound very sure. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I got absolutely wrecked on the bridge. There's nothing I could do. Yes, the invisibine. <laughs> Yes, I was also intangible. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that video, yes, I remember that. <laughs> I do remember that. Uh, no, neither of us have Twitter or Instagram. No, 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 no. Not something that interests us. At all. Good luck, Chatters! Can I elaborate a little bit on my idea? Yeah, so basically, um, it's uh, fairly tricky, but the the premise is when we currently when we optimize programs, we destroy them, right? Like, so generally, what you'll do is if you if you, if you need to optimize a programming what pro program, what you will do is you will destroy it by way of you know editing the code to make it more optimized. And in doing so, a lot is lost, right? Like, you often make mistakes, and you often, um, uh, like, you make the code less easy to read and less maintainable in the long run. You know, optimizing code generally destroys it. No, it's not very um, Not very pretty. How so did I get caught in that? basic idea I started with was um, one of separating the concept of optimizing a program from the concept of programming. So in my initial prototype, basically what you would do is you would you would write a program unoptimized, and then you would write an optimization script essentially that would optimize that program. Um, and in so doing, you preserve the original. Exactly. You know, you don't lose the program, exactly. but you can nevertheless improve it. So you can so. But what I realized was you can actually do quite dramatic things like this, um, and so you can actually. You, 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 I, I thought this would be quite a limited approach, but you can actually go nuts with this. Um, oh, damn, I'm fucking... And, for example, I was able to show that, for example, you could start with uh, the code for insertion sort, and then by using an optimization script, you could translate it into quick sort, or merge sort, or heap sort, or a parallel multiprocessor version of all of those things. Um, and so that's kind of the, the sort of interesting observation that I've had, which, you know, is that actually programs are more related than you think they are with the right set of um tools in the optimization system you can actually make ridiculous edits to programs and okay. so you know for example i can start with uh, um a specification of a uh a processor let's say and i can transform that into a, a super fast emulator or into the hardware design or something like that so you can do some pretty exciting things with it um that's smart <laughs> Uh, and so, if the idea sort of pans out, the idea is you 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 um, you, you wouldn't <laughs> you, yeah, I know. you wouldn't you would no longer optimize code essentially. You would you would you would just write code in the easiest, most clear way you could, and then 
optimize it after the fact with with uh, an optimization script for the save. Um, and then, you know, obviously the, the obvious plays on from there is things like, you know, we can use machine learning to uh, perhaps automatically generate the optimization scripts and then mm. you sort of get, the, get to the point of having like a universal compiler where basically you give it rough, bad code and it magically intuits um, what the correct thing is. Yeah. Um, Uh, Powers, you can just give the code away to someone else at the bot if you don't want it, or you can just keep it. <laughs> Is the optimization script a compiler? Like... No, I mean, so one of the one of the interesting things about the optimization scripts uh, at a sort of theoretical level is it's um, undecidable. So compilers are limited to things that they can prove are safe, right? Like a compiler can't do something unless it can absolutely 100% prove that that is a safe thing to do. So if you write some code that's like fundamentally bad, it has some something in it that, that cannot be optimized. The compiler cannot help you because it, it it has to respect your code. You know, if you've written some really weird code, it has to respect what you've written. Um, one of the interesting things about this optimization system is because the humans in the loop, you can you can ask the compiler to do things that are not, or you can ask the system to do things that are not safe in the purest sense that you know that optimizations that wouldn't necessarily work you know that may change the answer for example you know one of the things that compilers try to do is never change the answer uh, they always try to produce exactly the same answer um, and that is one of the interesting parts of the system um, so for example even turning insertion sort into quicksort you have to do this you have to do something that at a theoretical level is equivalent to the halting problem and so you know, would not normally be decidable. The compiler would never do this, but we could do it, you know, because it's a, it's a, it's an interactive process with a programmer involved. And so the programmer can sort of say, no, no, don't worry about it, this is safe. Yeah, intelligence so research is very interesting. Very, on the light of me. <laughs> <laughs> very, very theoretical, actually. Like, it's, it's kind of interesting. It's very, very theoretical computer science. Like the, 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 the... I mean, I come at it from a practical angle, because obviously I'm a programmer that does a lot of assembly code, you know, so I, I have a very low-level mindset. But, um, yeah, this is quite a high-level theoretical system that I'm building. Damn, the by cloud. Have built. I wish I'd been able to keep that. Absolutely wrecked in this GP. Will the PhD thesis be accessible to the public? Yes. Okay, get out of my way. If you would like to read my PhD, you you, you are <laughs> perfectly <might> able to. <laughs> Although it's not yet published, but yes, they are they are publicly accessible. I'm not sure how interesting it will be to read, but <laughs> yeah. well, that was one of the worst GPs I've had in the while. <laughs> Woo! Top of the middle row. Hey. Uh, <laughs> how right. easy would it be to debug with that kind of program my hope is you wouldn't have to so my hope is that what you would do is you would debug the initial crappy code that you write and then the optimizations would be necessarily correct maybe 100 bits terminal gamer he says thanks you for removing red loop pencil cup is now by far our favorite <laughs> yes the pencil cup used to be filled exclusively uh, with uh, loop tracks it was one of each colour, that's why it was the pencil cup to begin with. Yes. And ever since uh, we, ever since the automatic update system came along, we've been doing, uh, we've just been putting random tracks everywhere. There's no, there's no rhyme or reason to the placements anymore. It used to be them thematic to the, like, uh, if you access the fireball count, the cup, you'd get fiery tracks and stuff like that. Uh, and the pencil cup was full of loops, but uh, that's a, that's a, that's a uh, trait long past at this point. Nowadays, most people set the tracks to be alphabetical instead. Alright, well... Now I'm having trouble getting... 
getting anywhere higher than 14. Although that could just be random person problem, but then the next person also has the same problem. It's like, it's fishy, fishy. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, that sucks. If you were in my room, it'd be mega flat. It'd be okay. Would have, yeah, gone for him, but oh well. I stand on the brakes <laughs> and the hose is loving to me, but yeah, that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> Come on, router or whatever's happening here. Make some magic happen. He's a hundred bits treadmill gamer. As uh, Nintendo Seven said, any cease and desist, especially with tracks like Dragonite Island, no, nope, did not. Uh, although uh, track authors would retain the copyright to their own tracks, so if they wanted to strike copyright, I don't know, just go, hey, I didn't make it. <laughs> But I would happily remove it from the pack if uh, someone with a problem came along. Yeah, it's a shame about this. Although oh, this broken uh, 24 player. I'm going to have to try it again uh, another time to see if I can actually get it working. The problem is I kind of need to do it. In order to even arrange a room like this, I kind of have to do a stream. So... Hmm. But hey, the next time I probably play 24 player will be during the knockout testing. Well, that's, un that's just unfortunate, bro. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, the next time I'll probably play 24 players during the knockout testing, and then uh, I'll um, uh, I'll be I could turn on the logs because it'll be a debug version. Thank you for 100 bits, Threadmail. I don't know much about modding. Is track rating internet database a possible feature to come in? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I get we, uh, I get the impression we get a lot of rage reviews <laughs> because that tends to be what happens. I'm going to try restarting this room see if it helps. Like, at the moment we can't get past 16, which is kind of dumb. Uh, uh, no, how we typically gauge uh, how popular tracks are is to actually look at how much they're being played uh, rather than how. Uh, uh, rather than uh, letting the user create them. The online multiplayer gives us an interesting insight into what uh, tracks people are interested in picking. And we can keep an eye on it to see which ones people really like. It produces some interesting results, is what I'll say. Uh, certain tracks that you, would ne that you would not necessarily think have any business being popular reign supreme. Other times, it's uh, other times it's more predictable, and you think, "Oh yeah, that track's good." Of course, it's up there. And we're trying to make our removal decisions and whatnot at least somewhat based on that. Although we do also take into account what people think, obviously. But that's not gauged by any like formal database or anything. It's mostly just gathering opinions from various places and collating them. Right. You know, they're able to immediately get 17 after restarting the room. Hmm. I mean, I could be win five. Because that's weird, but, like, how? You know. I wish you know what's going on, but I'm not... Not understanding how it could possibly be. Anything other than that. Other than what... Observation making me like, hmm, maybe? Chandler, please offer your thoughts immediately. Uh, it's it's uh, ten past eleven, yeah. Chandler is too tired to think. Let's see if we can get back up to twenty again. I'll we'll start another room, so. Oh, I'll gather one of the people from your room, HK Burger. <laughs> Something I recognise from your screen. How do you do this bloody job, good? It's very easy, as you can it, see. Yeah, yeah. I, I can never get drifted into the correct position. I can do it when I stop, basically. But yeah, people, like, genuinely, you pull on the brakes to make this quick shot. Okay, fine. That is, that is a thing. I just, I just can never get the angle right. That's what I feel like, you know. 
Mm, we've got connections to the 18th slot being attempted repeatedly, but still nothing. Let's wait a little bit. Hmm. Turn this front running. Lol. <laughs> still people trying to join, still nothing. Mm. Make a hundred bits treadmill. And no problem. It's fine by me. Every single one of these messages should be being read out by the text-to-speech, but for whatever reason, the text-to-speech is broken today. And it's only reading out a select few messages. Yeah, I guess we could try another host, see if some other host... Okay, uh, let's... Yeah, let's try another host. Has, has anyone got open host available who's willing to host a 24-player room? With appropriate settings? Boomer need not apply. Uh, Anvil can. We'll use Anvil because Anvil's the first person. You got an open host friend code yet? Is it the one that you're in the room with right now? Oh, well. We're in the room with. <laughs> if so, post the, uh, post the friend code into the chat and I'll, uh, I'll see about having it, uh, and I'll add it. Oh, never mind. Well, I will in a minute. There we go. Alright. Hold that thought. Uh, let's see. Greetings, 95 Shade! Oh, cool. Register this free and friend code. I'll put it on the screen in a moment. Have you have you got a room? Are your room host settings set to twenty four player max? Let's find out. Okay, so we're going to do it another way. I'm going to join Anvil, and so I'm going to change the frame code that's on the screen right now to the one that you need. Let's just buy. Yes, Mickey Vivo, we're definitely having some thoughts about that. And the reason why is because 24 player obviously exacerbates all the issues. Yeah. Um, so in 24 player, the issues are all twice as bad and then they become really, really intolerable. So there's definitely thoughts about improving the netcode, yes. Mm -hmm. And whatever benefits the netcode that 24 okay. player has will almost certainly cross over into 12 player. I want to add that code and join that code and let's see if it works. Are you open host, by the way? <laughs> Would be an obvious question. Good night, Piggy with 2000. If that happens to that, let's do that. I'm surprised that no one is joining. FC doesn't appear online. You don't have open host. Go on, turn it on. You'll have to log off to make the changes take effect. You want blacklist specifically. You gotta check your open host settings on that friend code and enable blacklist. And make sure there are no friend codes on it. Alright. Wait for it to come full circle. For anyone new, open host is a wonderful feature added by Wing5 that the Nintendo Wi Fi Correction Original did not have, which allows you to join people who have not mutually co friended. Yeah. So the idea is if you have open host on a license, that means that you don't need to friend people back in order for them to be able to join your rooms. They could just, you could do uni, unidirectional friendship. Mm -hmm. They add your friend code and then they can join your room, regardless of whether you friend them back. I'll 
little bit patient for a few minutes here. Yeah, to be to be able to required for 24 player access. We are waiting patiently. Thank you for Hans for base Treadwell Gamer. New peer. Is there consideration moving host software from console into a server like COG server? Yes. Yes, there is. Absolutely. Um, that's definitely a project I want to do. Um, I think it would be um, super useful for all sorts of things. Obviously, 24 player benefit a lot um, because then you don't need a connection to one and you know it could scale infinitely at that point. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I think it'd be very, very cool for the competitive community because then you could uh, have uh, all kinds of crazy casting stuff by monitoring the server and, you know... And the lag would be way down as well. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, and you could do, you know, lag normalization and so on. Um, it has a slight advantage in terms of cheating as well in that it's slightly harder, not impossible, of course, but um, the server everything could validate... Everything is on the server. So everything every... can be validated and logged and Save so on. Save just replays so, or whatever, yeah, exactly. you know. So it, it's very easy to taste. Yeah, you can retroactively yeah. determine if the match was... Uh, you'd also be able to do right. something like have replay files, you know, store a replay of a match yeah. um, and play it back, which would be really cool for analysis purposes, you know, especially for, again, for competitive, you'd be interested in knowing what went wrong or what went right, you know, that's, that's a feature of most competitive games is that you can you can go and review games afterwards and um, understand the mistake from all players' perspectives, you know, um, yeah. who saw what and miscommunicated it or whatever, you know. Um, nice try, bro. Thanks, bro. Um... How are we doing, Anvil? Okay, I'm not you. I'm not going to teach you how to enable those host. Next, uh, let's see. I think Isa was the person who suggested next. Uh, Isa, you got a prank code for us? setting uh, max players to 24 all items can learn item rate etc to off uh, and my stuff to no replace tracks those are the setting them and mega clouds of course can't forget the mega clouds all right my own connection in this room as well if this does work. You 100 bits, Treadmill Gamer? Are there any resources about how Mario, Mario Kart was hacked, drug modded, and how custom software is executed? Well, uh... To a point. Yeah. What would you recommend? The wiki? I mean, the wiki is, is yeah. the repository of all knowledge, but, um... That's, yeah, that is trivial knowledge, though. Um, it's, uh... It doesn't. It's not really a history lesson, though. If that's no. more what you're interested in, um, a history has kind of not been documented. Really, it exists in our brains. Sadly, yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's one of those things of you know, you don't know you're creating history when you do it, and after the fact, it's like, oh yeah, actually, that's history, you know. <laughs> but uh, people are moving on to better things, so yeah. Um, there isn't a there isn't a, cost, a, a history of of, of uh, Mario Kart remodding or anything like that. But um, fourteen, no problem. This, this is going to be interesting. See how we have if it comes to the 15th player. And the 16th. Two more until we reach the magic number. 
everything enjoying now. Success. Eighteen. Get stuck. My my. Oh Let's look, it stick. wasn't our bloody router, was it? My my, how interesting. My fucking my. Oh, what I... a shock. What a bloody shock. I cannot believe it. I apologise. I cannot you, believe I it. I am you. so genuinely shocked. I am so very sorry. I did not mean anything that I said by this. You are a beautiful rooster. I was not planning to hit you with a hammer. It's not your fault. Laser on! <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> I am so shocked. <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> I am sorry, please forgive me. You were right, obviously. You're never not right. I feel like it's what gamers say when they're about to be wrong. <laughs> well, what a shock. So it seems like 24 players broken, PSA. Yeah. We find out today. Although, I don't see how that can be my fault. Perhaps it is. Who knows? Now is not the time for debugging. No, it's not. Uh, let's just wait and see if someone else can get in. It's not the router. Like, it, I'm not hosting the room anymore. <laughs> Have we not... tried resetting the router? Yes. <laughs> it's possible a recent update broke it, but I can't quite see how I would have done that, and it doesn't really explain how it eventually, sometimes, it works. You know? I would imagine it's Wien Fi side, but um, yeah. the the um, it could be something like a you know probabilistic packet dropping. You know, if the packet has certain properties, it gets dropped, and so yeah, it randomly maybe. gets through sometimes and doesn't most of the time. You know, maybe. and the more people in the room, the worse it gets. Something yeah, like maybe. that. Those are probably dutifully gone to bed, which I think he's well entitled to. But yes, I'll have to. What a shock. To be honest, I'm flabbergasted. This is not what... I mean, I know that... Uh, what a shock. I know that we've had got a couple of problems right now. Clearly, the friend situation on my main license is not normal. And he also had it on his license, and it seems to be pervading through them. And it's not on all licenses, as we can see, because I can, I can host and join them on this one. And it's constant pretty consistent as well, starting around the 18th player. I believe you mean it's easy to debug. Hmm? I believe you mean it's easy to debug. Yeah! Uh, hmm. But not now. Not now, no. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of still, I'm interested in this at the moment. But, uh, yeah. Yes. Hmm. And we love you that for you, but this is an entertainment broadcast, not a death stream. No, indeed. <laughs> right, well, I probably need another game plan then, because 24 player is uh, not available at the moment due to... Uh, Reasons unknown. Wing Fire or Oz, one of the two. Uh, not us. <laughs> not us. Uh, uh, by that I meant my code in 24 yeah. player. Uh, the last update that we put out, I mean, this is the first update, the uh, first attempt to... Uh, just trying to reason this through, so this is the first time I've tried to play 24 players since the security update. So it is possible that that has broken it. Uh, it's the kind of thing we do. But equally, thank you for 100 bits, Trimble Gamer. And do I do coding dev streams? I did in the past, but they're a bit, they're a bit hard to do, so uh, I tend not to do them. Uh, in the they are fun, but they're pretty tiring, and there's a limit to what I can stream as well, since there's a lot of security stuff and other crap. Uh, hmm. But the thing about the security update is that we basically did not, uh... No. <laughs> did not die. This is a good thing. Uh... It really shouldn't have affected, have affected the online multiplayer at all. Like, it was so... It was all channel all the time. So I can't really see how that update would have broken this, unless it's exacerbating a bug that existed before, perhaps. But... Well, let's not reason about security on stream. No, indeed. It's, it's, uh... Yeah. 
Anyway, I'm not sure. <laughs> TLDR, I'm not sure. Lol, 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 lol. Uh, hmm. Yes. Alright, well, uh, with that in mind, let's do something else. Um, yes, I think I think we're not going to be able to continue playing 24 player matches. I'm glad we managed to play some uh, play one 20 player round, uh, but uh, I absolutely died. But unfortunately, this has been uh, yeah an exercise in futility. <laughs> well, okay, I could hop on to farewell Alpha Hundred DS or something. Yeah, sadly it's a no-go. Thanks for trying everyone, uh, but uh, either we or Wingfire have an issue. It's looking a bit more likely to be Wingfire now. I just don't see how it could be, but you know, I mean... Given, yeah, given that packets arrive some of the time and sometimes can people can get enough for a massive delay, that does sound like something Wingfire could do, doesn't it? Yep. If it predicted the wrong port or something, then that wouldn't work. That'd be a nat egg fail, wouldn't it? I'm not going to try and tag down the answer. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's any number of things it could be. Who okay. knows? But... No, I'm just, I'm just speculating. Yeah. But, uh, anyway, so, um, yeah. Hmm. Let's turn off that French for now. Uh, so, yeah, what should we do? Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm assuming that Dragon isn't working with the new patch because it'd be fun to just throw that one on, but we could still play we could still play strikers, perhaps. Well I know what I'm like when I'm playing strikers, so uh hmm. Well let's see where people are on Wii Pie right now. Who's playing what at the moment? Is there anything to see? <laughs> see ya Al. Activity on MKDS. Uh, there is activity on Strikers Charge actually as well. Uh, a bit going on on Pokemon, but not too much. Why don't you play around the Strikers Charge? When you first feel yourself get frustrated, you stop. <laughs> well, would anyone be game for playing Strikers with me? You don't have to play till Rage. Yeah, true. You can just stop when you get to annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Dragon does to me. I've not played it since last year. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll just make sure I have an opponent before I go to Strikers, though, because at the moment it's, yeah, there's only a couple of people on the same with each other, so... Uh... This vanish into thin air. Interesting. Oh, by the way, I can play on the American disc as well, so I, I have uh, both uh, both discs available. Well, both both uh, European and uh, American. Oh, that's not looking box, so you'll probably never see it again. In that case, there doesn't seem to be too much interest in strikers from what I'm seeing. If any. <laughs> Mostly people saying I don't know where the disc is. Alright. players unfortunately we may need to do a special stream where we just try to debug it that might not be the worst idea uh, mostly for probably win by side's sake so is it yeah mm. Mm, yeah 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 you've probably announced in various places that yeah. 24 player seems broken just in case any other streamers or anything try to do it, you know. Yeah, true. I should check 
to see if Troy did any kind of 24 player work recently. Uh, and if so, since, since, since the most recent update, because that would be a nice, uh, he's the kind of person who might have done a bug, something like that. If I go to his, uh, previous videos, uh, Well, we've been to the dizzying heights of sick KVDR, Misty Peaks, and unfortunately we, we're down to yeah. not very much. April 18th. Yeah, it looks like it was all 12 all the time, uh, so I don't think he's done an A24 recently. Except I both suck and my disc doesn't work properly anymore. It's damaged, so uh, I cannot uh, actually play online with that one. Right. Well, uh, what's the button in the middle of the classic? Where? That thing. Oh, it seems to be. It moves some clips on the back. The, uh, oh, for attaching in. You can, you can clearly attach to something. I'm not yeah. sure what they were trying for it to attach to. I'm not sure if it was ever used. Maybe someone in chat can tell me. But, uh, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Are you around a bit, treadmill game? No one in my family has ever finished in multiplayer. Uh, that was a that was a that was a partial text to speech read out. The first sentence that wasn't read out was, "Which what kind of statistic person made mushroom beans?" I agree. What what kind of sadistic person might have made mushroom peaks? <laughs> it may well be this idiot <laughs> right here. At the time it was made, there were three other custom tracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Three. <laughs> three. It was the first. It track. was the fourth custom track. And the first custom track that had any that had working three D elements in it. Every other custom track was flat. <laughs> The design goal was not enjoyability for noobs. No, actually, it was very much quite liberating. precisely the opposite. It's a track where if you know what you're doing, you can uh, do some crazy stuff on it. Bible thumb. <laughs> then you earn more bits. I'll just re-demonstrate this since uh, since I've got a brief moment in the stream where I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing. So, for anyone just joining us, yep. where have you been? <laughs> and more to the point. There is a new announced today, this day, seven years after the discontinuation of Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection. We're announcing a new way to get WiimFi. It's even easier than the previous easiest way. Yeah. It's literally not possible for it to get any easier. You change one, I repeat, one setting in your Wii settings menu, and then you have WiimFi forever. It's amazing. Yeah. And that is good for any of your friends or whatever that didn't want to play online or didn't want to mess with homebrew or, you know... Didn't know what their, their SD card slot was or whatever. <laughs> this is the way. You literally, you change one setting and you get WiimFi. This Mr. Beam, games, demonstrate the setting. Yes, demonstrate it. It doesn't work with all games, but it does work with the most popular ones, i.e. Mario Kart and Smash and Strikers is coming soon. Uh, so, go into the Wii settings. You go to page two of the Wii settings. You click the internet button, you see how. You go to connection settings. If you don't have a connection, you make one. Once you have it set up, you go to the connection that you want. You click the change settings button. Scroll to the left. Three times. You find auto obtain DNS. You click no. You click advanced settings. And you enter this number here. That number is your magical WiimFi ticket. This Write that down, to children. WeamFi. Welcome to WiimFi. It's basically saying, it's basically screaming. That's what it says in binary, I assure you. Yeah. It says welcome. It's a really friendly message. Yeah, it's great. It it's doesn't not, say not... anything horrifying. <laughs> it's not just a random address on the internet. No. Yeah. I, I assure you that's very friendly binary. Yeah. And then once you enter the numbers, you click OK. You click confirm. You click save. You and that is test. it. That is the process of getting WiimFi. Yeah. Done. Do connection test. We should pass. Gone! Smashed! Takes a while to pass the connection test, but it does pass! 
I've done this several times today. <laughs> it is passing. Hooray! Yay! You do not do the update, although it doesn't really matter. You use connection, and so once you've done all those sessions, you won't use connection. You back out. Or in your cursor high at Mario Kart Wii. You click the start button. That's right, no weird random no console screens. No nonsense of waiting two minutes. No homebrew application or otherwise. It's literally, you type in that number and that's it. That's and the entire process. The Nintendo Wi Fi connection button. I click. He clicks. He scores. So like I say, if you've known anyone that didn't want to get Wii Fi for any reason, now is a great time to persuade them that it's super easy, and they should. And there we have it. If you want to find a tutorial on this, what we've just shown you, go to weemfi.de. <laughs> Waiting for updated state. And there you go, he's on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Gone. Smashed. And if Chad has a uh, space, I could join him, for instance, to demo, you know. Sadly, he does not. But uh, if he had space, that would have worked. <laughs> there you have it. Wii Fi via the disc channel on a non-modified console. Well, this isn't a non-modified console, but it does work on a non-modified console as well. Uh, <laughs> so it's very cool. It's very cool. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, you're full. <laughs> you're full and I'm not allowed in. No. <laughs> Much excite. Yes. Very wow. Also, I hid my homebrew channel off screen ready for the tutorial that I was going to make. Uh, so it's hiding over here with a bunch of other channels. <laughs> I suppose you should take up all the custom channels. Hmm? Could do, yeah. You're taking that spirit. Out of space. <laughs> ah, look how vanilla. It looks vanilla even though it isn't. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Don't tell, don't tell anyone. Secret. It's a secret to everybody. <laughs> On his normal unmodified Wii. Yeah, this is a normal unmodified Wii console, clearly. Dispose of the CGP Revolution play history. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll do that later. <laughs> Obviously, I don't need to do that right now. Not that we need to do this right now, but what else I am doing? Oi. <laughs> don't you tell me off. I'll take you off. <laughs> yeah, totally legit console, but yeah, no, this does work on uh, stock Wii, and it also works on Wii U. Obviously, the setup is a little different because I've got a different settings menu. You need your Wii U gamepad. But the setting is called the exact same thing. It's called DNS. It's not the exact same thing. Wii calls it auto-obtain DNS. Wii U just says DNS. In either event, it's DNS. Uh... <laughs> but yeah. Mute, mute my son, get yours. <laughs> no, I'm not doing anything you are. Got some classic tunes here. He's playing vanilla. Just in time for the thundercloud sound. You're welcome, Eric. Oh well. Cancel that out. Easier to tell what's going on with the sound, isn't it? It's one of the things I could never get over about at Mario Kart 8 was the absolutely atrocious sound design. I just can't tell what's going on. Do you want to do you want to hear that green shell coming past you? Well, it is making sound, but it sounds like a bunch of bubbles being blown from a bubble blower. It's very quiet, and it doesn't really. Carry over the music. Yeah, I deserve that. Yeah, you probably did. 
Why am I sat on the floor? Because the floor is comfortable, damn it. I've got a cushion. Get that out. Yeah, it's already been seven years. Right. Hey, it's all switching though. <laughs> that's just that's just the uh, cable just being bad, guys. Getting to the end, or? Oh uh, yeah, she should be able to make it. What should I do? I don't. Yeah, yeah. Now we thought what you'd tell if it should be online on uh, Wii Fi longer than it ever did, ever was on the uh, Nintendo Wi Fi connection. Which is amazing. Yes, it is. We're all old. I won't be on much longer. Now, to be on, uh, to be to be perfectly honest, I think I probably could use more time to sleep as well. Uh, yeah, I said this. Uh, I said this earlier on in the stream, but uh, my sleep schedule was not at all aligned for doing this anniversary stream, which is why it started so late. And in an attempt to uh, get on the loose, the right sleep schedule, I had a fairly extended nap before we started, uh, but it not really enough. So. I did say that this was probably going to be a shorter stream, and so I may well just stop when you do. Uh, so whenever you want, whenever you're done, I'll probably wrap it up. Okay then. Yeah. <laughs> and we can... I mean... Yeah. Well, next year should be more. It should be more. Uh, hopefully it will be... Yeah. No restrictions next year as well. We'll next have year we'll special guest to, appearance. To have Sol along and... I, mean, I suppose it'll be a Friday next year if the year progresses how I think it does. Hmm. Does it work like that? Does it advance by one day? There you go, Jack. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Next time's going to be a Friday, which might be slightly more convenient. Yeah. Maybe. Early start of the weekend. A year after that will be better. We hope. <laughs> yeah, not elite year, so yeah, they just advanced by one day, except on elite years. Yeah, it'll be a Saturday, so. <sighs> okay, yeah. <laughs> yes, I apologise, this is going to be a shorter anniversary stream, but uh, we'll do more next time, and I'll probably. I may play some other games on some streams over the coming days as well. Make up for it. In the meantime, we're gonna watch Shadows. How many weeks do we have? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, smiley. Not LOA. Smiley. Smiley. It's one of the roles. Yeah. Smiley. Smiley. Could be LOA. But they're smiley. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mini. Seven or eight, depending if you count the mini. It is a boy after all. Uh, nine. Uh, yeah. Nine weeks and, uh, Three Wii U's are in here, but I know that there isn't the Wii U upstairs, and you guys have got a Wii of your own, so we've got a lot of consoles. Many a console. Oh, it's This is actually quite unusual, me being the one watching you play Mario Kart. <laughs> How 
How's this going to end? We literally try to do 24 players a day. But it wasn't for lack of trying that we tried to fix that. You got a point. I did. I did. And I can't be disappointed with that. I finished with less points than I started the day with. Yeah, that's true. That's a shame. It happens. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Bean! Thank oh, you, welcome. Weemvi! Yes. No, thank you, Nintendo. Well, you made it a nice game. We'll, yeah, we'll take no, that. I enjoyed the game. Yes, uh, you don't really notice it just by looking at it, but uh, it's clear that that menu was meant for four buttons. Yeah. They didn't recenter it after they removed the ghost race button from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> It's all in the layout files, I'm pretty sure. No yes. problems whatsoever. Right, well, I think we're going to call a halt to the anniversary stream here. Yes, like I say, I'm sorry it's a shorter one, but uh, bad timing and bad sleep is a killer. But I'll probably come back over the coming days to do a bit of uh, some, some streams of some other games. I think that would be fun. So. Yes, hopefully, hopefully on, a, on a more reasonable time frame and possibly at a weekend or something so more people are around. More chance to play games. Uh, I'm planning to do a tutorial video about this new uh, wing for patching method. I was originally going to have that out for today, but uh, uh, that was... Uh, 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 it would it would have been a rush. So I decided I would slow down, do the stream, and then... Make the video next. And the next excitement should be the uh, knockout testing, which yeah, can't be that far away. Yeah, knockout testing is not that far away. It's genuinely not. Uh, that's, the internal testing for knockouts is going very well. Uh, it, the mode does actually function. I just There are some bugs that I need to tidy up. Most things I've identified in testing so far I've already fixed, but one or two things require a bit more elaborate testing, shall we say. So I'll need to, uh, I'll need to think those ones through a little more. All right, well. GG's, everyone. Thanks GGs, for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Sorry about yes. the 24 player state of play. Uh, state of play. That was very unfortunate. Uh, yep. But uh, GG's in the countdown. And uh, in the worldwide races and battles for, uh, for Chatters. Yep. All right. And we'll see you all again next year. <laughs> <laughs> if not sooner. If not sooner. It's possible we may come back sooner. All right. Take care, everyone. Go out. Bye-bye. He's waving. He's so happy. Oh, and uh, given that Bradley has a much longer anniversary stream ongoing at the moment, I guess we'll raid him. Okay. Okay. So we go. We go there next. So stick around to raid Bradley. Okay. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.